Dixon. I'm principal at Jetty Tisdale School. Great. I just started in August. I'm new, okay. getting to know the children and the community. Okay. However, I've been a Bridgeport principal for 23 years oh, wow. and an educator for 34. Mm. I don't think people respect children, mm -hmm. whether it's the liquor store, selling drugs, even we have a man who brings his dog to do his business on our field. Who wants their kids stepping or playing in poop? I'm very old school. Um, I demand respect and I give respect. They didn't wear uniforms before I got here. And in fact, that was one of my uh, focuses when I started here. Those saggy pants, what are they gonna do? If they can't just wear a uniform now, what are they gonna do when they, they're in their 20s and 30s looking for a job? Who's gonna hire them? I wouldn't. And I see all these kids as my kids. I, the parents could think otherwise, but uh, I'm like this because I want them to do well. My parents were strict. And they were like that because they wanted us to do well. My name is Kirk Wesley. I'm the president of the Community Action Network, which is the group that's here before you today. I also run a program here every Tuesday with some of the best students here. We're coming live from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Bridgeport, Connecticut is the, um, the largest city in the state of Connecticut. It's also um, the poorest city in Fairfield County. Fairfield County, which has Greenwich, Westport, Weston, Fairfield, all these uh, big towns known for money. I'm a Bridgeport girl. I graduated from Harding. I went to Roosevelt, where I used to be the principal. You know, back when I was a kid, if you had a high school diploma, you did okay, because there were factories around here. There aren't any factories. The education system is in disarray. Um, our schools are underachieving. Connecticut has the largest achievement gap in the country. I'm Dave Koch. I'm a professor of history over at Lusitana Community College. I'm the advisor to a club. The club is called ACC CAN. We are ACC CAN. Community Action Network. We're all about three things. Justice. Community. Education. So we're here today to put before you a presentation of a real life situation that people are in where they have to make choices. We all have choices. Got to make choices. Chose to get up in the morning. Chose to come to school. How many of you chose not to do your homework last night? Yeah. Everybody here is well behaved, right? We've had students, they're, they're pretty aggressive mm -hmm. and violent. Um, they use profanity a lot. I think, I don't know, maybe it's the area. I, it's just challenging. We've had a couple shootings right up the street a couple weeks ago, two weeks in a row. Uh, when I got here in August, there was a shooting at the gas station. Um, I don't a know. Murder. A murder. Right. A murder. I don't know if they were related to the students here, but it's something that they see, you know, and it has to leave some kind of residual effect on them. Here we are in 2012, this is May 2012, there's, al there's already been nine homicides, um, countless other shootings, the city's in trouble, our young people um, have basically no hope for, them, for themselves and their future. I'm a Latina, I'm black, all the kids around here are kind of like me, and if they don't have a good education, they're not going to make it. And I'm the first one to tell the kids, what are you going to do? I founded CAN along with my friend Kenny Gracia. Shout out to my boy Kenny G. It's my guy right there. I was out of school for a while, and um, Kenny was in school, and you know Kenny kind of inspired me to come back to school. Kenny and Professor Edwina Chance inspired me to come back to school full time. But when I came back to school, all the clubs that were here were pretty kind of, um, you know, dormant. They really weren't doing anything. And uh, you know, Kenny came to me one day. He was like, "Yo, you know, like how we had a how we wanted to join a club." He was like, "Let's let's start a club. Start a club." He was like, "Yeah, let's start a club. Yeah, that's a that's a really good idea." So the first meeting with Ken was um, very different from what I was used to as far as um, school clubs. In our first year, 2009, we did over 400 hours of community service. They were actually talking about ideas. Um, like going to high schools and um, tutoring people and going into the community and cleaning up the community and then having like 
cool events on campus like open mics and that sort of thing. We just started out with, you know, cleaning shelters. Just because we wanted to, you know, do something, we cleaned the shelter inside and outside. And then that evolved from cleaning the shelter to running programs at local high school. We, we ran a program at Bassett High School every Friday where we worked with a group of at-risk students, um, you know, just to help them to get their mind together about, you know, doing, like, taking care of their academic um, part of their life. Um, you know, we did stuff at Central High School. We worked with the Hilltop Academy where, we, you know, again, at-risk students. They're at risk of basically going to jail. If you're not involved in doing something after school, as Sabrina said, extracurricular activities, you're more likely to make a bad choice. Today, we're going to be talking about one thing. What we're going to be talking about? Drugs. The effect of drugs. Lots of people like drugs. We love drugs. We like to drink coffee in the morning. We like to smoke weed in the afternoon. We like to drink all the time. Everyone likes drugs. This guy up here, the guy who's been doing so much crystal meth that now his entire body breaking out and sore. We um, go into different schools with kids of different ages, and the reaction that we get from the kids are so positive and so live, so we know that we're affecting them in some type of way, in, in a positive way, in a good way. My hope is that we can be a beacon of light and hope in our community and help to, again, inspire people to want to um, do better and achieve more for themselves and for their lives, and just, you know, help to uh, build a generation of young, strong leaders that um, are engaged and active in their community, not just um, whenever it's Earth Day or something like that, but on a consistent basis. It's very, very important that you guys take reading seriously as you guys progress as students and as human beings because reading is the key to anything that you want to do anywhere you want to go in life. Who in here wants to be successful? Who in here wants to be like, you know, the president or somebody really, really important? Can has been a, a vehicle or a, a mechanism to, to, to bring unity among students and to have them set their own goals and uh, to to basically maximize their achievement and their activity in the community. And that's, you know, that's that's what the, the A in CAN is all about. So it's it's all about action, it's all about getting out there. For our students at Housatana Community College, so many of them are very invested in succeeding in their courses, which of course is a number one priority. But we also find that when students are also vested in giving back to their community, this not only makes them a stronger student, but sets the pattern which we hope will continue after they graduate. We're doing things in the community now. You know, sometimes you have people who say, you know, when you get your degree, you just make sure that you come back and give back to the community. If you want to be a teacher, make sure you come back here, you know, whatever you're doing. But the great thing, again, about Ken is that we're doing it now. We're going to the schools now. We're giving to the homeless now. Like, we're doing our job as um, citizens giving back to the community now. One thing at the college we're trying to stress more and more is that community service. Know your community, be active in your community, and not a passive member. So can as one organization, one student club, that's its whole focus, is saying we are members of this community, we can have a positive impact we can get other people involved in the community so that uh, so that th this this what's going on here in the community doesn't have to keep playing out in the same way over and over and over again the job's never done with can can is like a it's like a child to me that keeps growing when you get home today if you don't have a library card tell mommy that mommy Mr. Kirk came to school today and he says that I need to get a library card. All right, I'm going to come back and check up on you guys and make sure you guys are ready. All right. Being around such live people 
has allowed me to grow as an individual, and that's what Ken is to me. Thanks. <laughs>